relax. It's ASMR. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another video. This one is going to be a munch pack eating video. So I thought I'd try it in this new standing up, facing you, talking to you format. So I had this, got this a few weeks ago. I'm just now getting to it. So I'm anxious to see what they brought this time. Okay. So we have the same card. Made with love by Anthony. It looks like it's actually handwritten. That's nice. Made with the same cover paper. And let's see, we have some nice big bags of snacks here. This is called Meanies. You can see it there. Pickled onion flavored. Interesting. Let's see if I can tell where this is from. Cannot. Fargo Foods, Kilbro, Ashbourne, Co. Meat. So, kind of sounds Australian, but I'm not quite sure. Made in Ireland. There we go. Right down there in the corner. The next thing we have here, it's kind of heavy, trolley, sour gummy crunchers. That is different. I haven't had anything like that before. I've had hard candies that you like suck on that are sour. More mouth shattering, sour crunch, gummy inside. Lip smacking, pucker up, deliciousness. They'll make you scream out of control crunch. I don't know about that, but strawberry, grape, lemon, and lime are the flavors. So that's pretty cool. I've never had anything like that. And I like sour candies. Here we have a little candy bar, snack bar. Looks like it's from Japan or China. China, I think. I think it's Chinese writing. Made in Taiwan. So it's Taiwanese. And we have another little bar here. This is Kinder. Happy Hippo but it looks like it's been smashed to smithereens. I don't think it survived the trip very well. But I've had these before, they're very good. Anything with Kinder chocolate, they do a nice mixture of dark chocolate or milk chocolate and then a white chocolate together. So even though it may not be recognizable as a hippo, I'm sure it is very delicious. We have a nice big box here, let's see. Vanilla flavored cream cookies. Cambridge and Thames. Thames. I assume it's pronounced like the river Thames. Very nice. Looks like it has a little bit of chocolate on the top and cream inside of the cookie. That'll be very nice to try. And it is our perennial favorite that we always get, not always, but most of the time, little koala cookies that have little bits of chocolate inside. Those are always nice little snacks to have. Here we have the Alamo Candy Company, The Great Taste of Texas. These are sour pickle balls. So we are combining the pickle flavor of the one snack and the sour flavor of the other. Let's see what it says. Deliciously seasoned with a little kick. Made in San Antonio. Go Texan. Wow, okay. They also have dried apple, cherry bomb, 
gummy and bloody bears, chamoy chino, dried mango, mean green sour apple belts, dried pineapple, scream green sour straws, lots of other things here, strawberry straws. Very interesting. And I like these big, we get full size things in this package. I really like that. This is, says bean or bine, croissant with cocoa cream. Feels nice and soft. Let's see where this was made, if I can discern that. not immediately I think this may be Turkey I think this may be made in Turkey again I think so made in Turkey yep so I found it I'm slowly learning all the different types of packaging that they put things in for different countries here is Potato crisp. It is a potato cracker. It says it was made in Singapore. It feels like a kind of nice thick cookie. Barbecue flavor. So, chalk one up for the savory. And then the last thing we have is another nice big box of salakui. Uh, made in Turkey, but it looks like it has windmills and it's supposed to be some sort of like Dutch treat. Um, it has hazelnuts here and some wheat. So, Finnish cream. So, I think it's probably supposed to be Finnish, some sort of cream inside, which would probably be the hazelnut. So, Dutch treat as interpreted by Turkey. Okay, well, let's start to try some of these things out. As we normally do, we're going to start with savory and work our way to sweet. And in this one, we're going to get to work our way through sour as well. So I'm going to try the potato crisp first. I'm still kind of adjusting to facing the camera and doing this, so bear with me. Oh, there's three different ones in here, so they're very thin. It's not one big cookie. It's a very thin wafer. And it survived pretty well in the box, too. Okay, these are potato barbecue flavor. Very, very mild on the barbecue flavor. But nice. Definitely a potato flavor. I think they may mean more like just roasted potato, like roasted over a fire, instead of what we would determine to be barbecue flavor. It says barbecue seasoning, potato sugar, Potato flavor, flavor enhancers, monosodium glutamate. It's pretty good. That's okay. I don't usually react to that. So, pepper and some vitamins. So, nice potato -y flavor. So, as long as you weren't expecting a strong barbecue flavor, you're probably pretty good. 
Okay. Now I'm not quite sure. This says a rice bar cake. So this may be sweet or it may be savory. I'm not sure. We're going to try it as well. Okay. Kind of very similar in general overall appearance, just not quite as thin as the potato cake. It's got like a powder on it. Very subtle flavor. Almost flavorless. It reminds me of when you have wafer cookies and you have the very thin layers of cookie and then the, the cream in the middle. It reminds me of if you just peeled off the cookie part and ate it. Definitely not sweet. So I guess technically it falls into savory, although it's not really savory either. It doesn't really have a salty flavor. It's pretty, pretty mild in the middle. It might be good if you put something on it or dipped it into something. It'd be a good um, complement to that. Okay. So now. We're going to try the meanies, the pickled onion flavor. Hmm. They have little different shapes. They're like puffed corn or puffed wheat or puffed rice or something. Kind of looks like an alien. Mm. That's a really good different flavor. Definitely in the savory category. Pickled onion is the best way to describe it. I expect a really good steak after this. That very meaty, not meaty flavor, but I definitely go very well with the meaty flavor. Suitable for vegetarian. Nice. I don't know what's so mean about them. But, um, definitely delicious. Never quite had a flavor like this. It's always nice to try something different. Okay. Well, I won't eat all of those. Put those down here. Wipe my hands off. Okay. So now we start to go into the sour category. We're going to try the sour pickle balls. I approach this with some trepidation. I think I'm going to cut the top off of this. There we go. Did I cut far enough? Very interesting. It's kind of a chemically smell. It's not super strong pickle smell. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't like that. It's just an amalgam of pressed together um, spices. There's not really anything in the middle of it. There's a very strong chemically flavor to it. Definitely the punch with the sour. But then there's no sweetness to come and back it up and balance it out. You just kind of get a general pickly flavor. So no, that's not pleasant. Um, deliciously seasoned with a little kick. Chili powder, peppers, and 2% or less of silicon dioxide, salt, citric acid, which is where the sour comes from, sugar, corn syrup, natural cucumber powder. Yeah, there's a kind of a cucumbery flavor in there. And then some yellow five and blue one. Um, not, not my favorite by far. I will not try that again. I don't mind sour things, but there has to be some sort of nice flavor behind it. So hopefully we'll get that with these. All right, here's a convenient corner here to open up. Okay, this is definitely into the candy category now. So we have a lime one, and it has like a candy coating on it. Pretty standard. Now it's all stuck in my teeth. The gummy inside is not like you would think of a gummy bear. More of like a maybe dried out gummy bear. So it's not super soft inside. It's almost like a chewing gum consistency. But if you like to crunch your candy, this is a good one. Not super, super sour, certainly not as sour as that um, last thing I tried. But um, yeah, I can see kids really get into that. Okay, so now we can move on to truly sweet treats. And I'm going to try, I'm gonna move some things around here. I'm going to try this croissant next. Cut open the package. <laughs> we have one, one croissant. It's nice and soft. It seems fresh. Seem dried out. So let's see what it tastes like. Yeah. So you can see it has a chocolate gooey center. Nice chocolate. It goes very well with the um, croissant. Mm -hmm. That's nice. I could easily eat this whole thing, but I won't right now. I will eat it later. That's really good. 
good for getting bad pickle flavor out of your mouth. Okay. What's next? Let's try the hazelnut cookies for our next foray into sweetness. Just stacked up in here like this. I may need to cut the package a little bit more. I don't want to break the cookie. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it looks like kind of a uh, digestive biscuit on the outside with thin to cream on the inside, which is kind of a little darker color that was on the package. Mm -hmm. Definitely have a digestive biscuit type flavor. Not super sweet, really nice. A little bit of hazelnut. Good solid biscuit or cookie. Nice buttery flavor as well. Okay. Well, we've got to try our koala. These packages never quite seem to survive very well in the shipping process. I don't know if it's because of the shape of the package, but they always seem to crush very easily. I apologize that things keep going off camera. I'm still learning to work with this new format. And I have a mirror up here that I can see the back of my camera, but I don't want to keep looking up there all the time. Look like I'm, you know, something's going to fall from the sky. So I apologize if I wander off screen a little bit. Okay. So here we have our koala printed on little cookies. This looks like he's singing some karaoke. This one looks like she's eating some ice cream. Maybe he, I'm not quite sure. Pretty good basic crunchy cookie a nice soft chocolate center. So. Always welcome. Okay, now we go to this poor, sad, destroyed hippo. Doesn't look like much of anything, but it has some like chocolate sprinkles on the outside. It looks like it was a cookie up here at the top. Mm -hmm. And it's filled with a nice ch like chocolate mousse. As always, Kinder does a really good job. The flavors balance really well to a nice, sweet, crunchy deliciousness. Okay, well, that leaves us with one more thing, and I've saved the more sophisticated to last. 
and that is our vanilla flavored cream cookies. Mm, very strong vanilla smell to it. Nice. So, look rather nice. I like the look of them. Put that down here. And let's... Mm. Yeah. Very nice. Again, Nice solid biscuit or cookie. Nice um, buttery flavor of the cookie. And um, the vanilla cream does not taste as strong as it smells, but it's still very prominent. balances very well. I like it. Well, this has been a very good munch pack. But for the first time, I have something that I absolutely will not and cannot recommend. And that are these pickle balls. Those are bizarre. And if they're something that you love, that's great. But that is not my palate. I can still kind of smell them a little bit sitting down here. But everything else is really, really good. And I will probably finish up my croissant. It has a really good feel to it, just the way it chews and tastes. You could power through that really quickly. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this new format. Um, let me know what you think about me having all the food down here and then eating it in front of you. Is it gross to see me eat? Um, is it okay? Is there ways I can improve it? I know I have not really thought about actually showing you that I'm eating the food. So um, give me feedback on that. Would you like me to go back to just showing you the box on the table like I've done before? Um, yeah. So thank you for watching. Um, please go over to my Patreon channel and look at the different levels of support. If you want to see more videos from me, I post several different videos just from patrons, and there's other different little goodies you can get as well. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.